Hi, I'm Aubrey Mozino from We Make Movies. In this video, we're going to discuss the basics on how to get up and shooting quickly using the professional video app Filmic Pro. For around $15, Filmic Pro gives you complete control over the video settings on your smartphone and allows you to make the same custom adjustments as almost any DSLR or professional video camera. To get started, make sure your phone is in airplane mode or at least with the cellular data turned off so your shots aren't interrupted. Open the app and get acquainted with the screen. You'll see your start stop record button on the bottom right, your playback button to review your footage to the left of that, and your settings menu to the left of that. You'll also notice your two reticles. The square is your focus and the circle is exposure. You'll want to set focus first by dragging the square around the screen to the main area of subject. Tap it once to lock the focus, which is great for static shots. Not as useful if you'll be moving the camera to other subjects or areas of focus. Once set, drag the circle around the area you want exposed. Drag it to highlighted areas to darken the exposure and to darker areas to lighten the exposure. Once satisfied, tap once to lock the exposure. However, you can let Filmic Pro do all the work for you by turning on the auto focus and auto exposure setting. Just double click either or both of the focus and exposure reticles to turn on auto mode. You can still tap either once to lock exposure or focus, which is great if you just wanna lock either for a moment. Tap again to unlock and double tap to go back to the dual reticles. Your zoom is located on the right side. Slide up and you'll notice the bar turning from green to yellow to red. These colors indicate the quality of your shot. The more you zoom in, the less crisp and poorer quality the video will be. Try to stay within the green for HD quality. If additional zoom is needed, using external lenses or digitally switching to a telephoto lens on the iPhone can help. We'll cover that later. Next up, we'll adjust our frame rate and resolution by hitting the gear wheel on the bottom right. Tap Resolution first to open up your options. 16.9 is the standard format you see for most TV, movies, and YouTube content. A few choices over, you'll see one-to-one, -one, which is the square format Instagram uses. Most content creators need to shoot video content that lives on multiple platforms, and Filmic Pro gives you these white bars as a visual guide to make sure you know how much is staying in your frame. If you turn on Crop Source to Overlay, Filmic Pro will automatically crop your footage for you. Don't turn this on if you want to use this content for multiple platforms or want to adjust the aspect ratio in post. Next, make sure you're shooting in 4K, or at the very least 1080p to ensure a high quality image. Filmic Extreme is the highest bitrate encoding you can have, but also takes up the most amount of space on your device. If you have the data space on your phone, it's always better to have the highest resolution and bitrate possible. Tap out of the screen to go back to settings and choose frame rate next. For narrative or more cinematic content, you'll probably want to choose 24 frames per second preset at the top of the screen. 24 is what most Hollywood movies and TV shows are shot in. However, if you're shooting a documentary or for YouTube or social media, you'll probably want to switch the preset to 30 frames per second. This gives your images a more realistic quality and what you're probably used to seeing on your nightly news or from your favorite video bloggers. Tap out of the screen and select Audio Next. If you're using any kind of external microphone, and you should be, bad quality sound is much more unforgivable than bad quality video, make sure Filmic Pro is registering the microphone at the top. If not, you can select the front or rear internal microphones depending on if you're shooting selfie style or with the back lenses. And only turn on automatic gain correction to help improve the quality of the built-in microphones. Leave it off if you're able to do sound sweetening in post or if you have an external microphone. Tap out of the screen twice to go back to the camera views and test your audio levels. You can manually adjust the gain levels by dragging the audio slider. Do an audio test to make sure your levels are staying in the green and yellow on the right hand side. Red indicates clipping and won't be very usable, so drag down the slider if you notice any peaking. If you're using the latest iPhone, Filmic Pro allows you to quickly switch between the different lenses in the settings menu under camera. Wide is great for the bulk of your shots, but the telephoto is great for close-ups where you need to get two times closer and create a shallow depth of field. The selfie lens is pretty self-explanatory, and zoom switches from the wide to tele automatically as you zoom. However, 
Note that you can't use any manual controls like focus or exposure when you're using the zoom lens. Now, your smartphone is officially a professional, high-quality video camera. Start experimenting with adjusting focus, exposure, and capturing clear audio before we move on to the advanced Filmic Pro techniques in the next video.